hi and welcome in this video we are going to see about suffix turning number question from august marathon okay so the question says that uh, himanshu is a very strange person so every day he has a new stunning number but since it is only one in case he needs more numbers multiple numbers himanshu came up with a definition of suffix turning numbers a suffix turning number is a number if it ends with himanshu turning number for example if uh, himanshu turning number is 25 so the possible suffix turning numbers are it can be 625 ending in 25 11225 ending in 25 okay 25 itself that ends in 25 so the numbers that are ending with the himanshu turning number are suffix turning numbers okay For, uh, which are not are 225 so which numbers are not ending with 25 are not suffix turning numbers so given a himanshu turning number n and a range m that we need to find out how many suffix turning numbers are present till m find till m how many suffix turning numbers are present we need to find that okay so let's just take some test cases and analyze them to get the pattern and finally we will print the answer fine so let's suppose we have 3 as himanshu turning number and m value is 845 fine so what are the numbers so let's say we have 3 13 23 33 43 and so on 93 so till 100 we have these suffix turning numbers till 100 there are 10 such numbers correct then we have 103 113 123 123 and so on till 193 correct and so on so we, till 100 we have 10 such numbers till 200 then again 10 such numbers 300 again 10 400 again 10 and so on we got till 800 okay 793 fine and then it comes out as 803 813 823 833 843 843 and we stop so how many numbers 10 10 10 10 so it's 80 times correct for 800 then 1 2 3 4 40 4 times, uh, 5 times so total becomes 85 so there are 85 such numbers uh, which are suffix turning numbers ending at 3 which are less than 845 fine correct so for example if we take uh, 200 or let's say take 15 and let's take 10000 so it is 15 115 120 uh, 12215 then 315 and so on okay and we got a 1000 uh, fine uh, so that will be 915 so less than 1000 these numbers are there which are suffix turning numbers then again we it will be 1015 1115 and so on till 2000 fine and so on we'll go till 9 uh, 10000 fine so how many numbers such numbers are there so for this we have 10 such numbers less than 1000 then less than 2000 again 10 such numbers and so on so we go till 10000 so there will be 100 such numbers fine 10 multiplied by 10 okay 1000 into 10 is 10000 and For each thousand number, we have tens of extending numbers. That is the numbers which are ending at fifteen. So hundred in ten into ten becomes hundred. Fine. So we have hundred such numbers. For this, uh, for this, the answer is hundred. Fine. And if we take two hundred, and let's say nine five two seven nine, in this particular case, uh, what we have is two hundred, then one two zero zero, two two zero zero, three two zero zero. And so on. So till ten thousand, we have ten such numbers. So are you getting the pattern? Till ten thousand, we have ten such numbers. So we have ninety thousand here. So we will definitely get ninety such numbers. Then again, we have five thousand two hundred seventy-nine remaining. So here again, we have five thousand. So for five thousand, for five thousand, we will have five more such numbers. So total becomes ninety-five. Then two seventy-nine numbers are remaining. For two seventy-nine, we will have one two hundred. Because two seventy nine is greater than two hundred, so we will have one more two hundred. So plus one, we get ninety six. Fine. So if you see above the same pattern, and I just told you that eight hundred we have, so we have eighty such numbers definitely. Okay, ten, 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 eighty such numbers. Then for forty five, till forty five, uh, if we take till forty, so we have again four such numbers. So eighty plus four. Then for five, five is greater than three. So we have again one such number. So plus one becomes thirty-five. Now here for this example, for ten thousand, for ten thousand, 
for we can directly have for 10,000 we have 100 such numbers okay we can directly have this there are no more numbers inside of it to go fine here we have 90,000 then again we have more than uh, 90,000 plus 5,279 so for 5,279 we have five numbers for 279 we have one more number okay so how we can simply do this is we can get this is a single digit number correct it is it is a two digit number let's see here it's a three digit number so last three digits fine so if you see here, if i have a single digit here okay so it is 84 we definitely have 84 will definitely be there if we have last two digits 100 is definitely there last three digits uh, we ignore so 95 will definitely 95 times 200 will definitely come fine so 100 times 15 will definitely come if you see here then 84 times there this 3 will definitely come in this example fine so whatever n we have we can get its number of digits number of digits that how many times how many digits we need to ignore in our m fine so the remaining digits will definitely be there now in the second case we are not adding anything but in the first and third case we are adding some numbers so we, what this depends on this depends on the digits that we are hiding fine so if this the digit that we are hiding is greater than our n then we increment one byte 279 is greater than 200 we increment one byte but here the digits uh, that we hide was 00 now 00 is less than 15 therefore we do not increment anything and the final answer is directly 100 here it is 96 here it is 85 fine so all we have to do in this particular question is uh, whatever n is just get the number of digits fine in m let's say we hide the last this number of these digits whatever the digits are there fine the remaining digits will be in my answer fine and then the digits that we hide that we just need to check whether these digits are greater than my n or not if that number is greater than n then we add one to it plus one else we do not do it okay so how we can we, there are multiple ways to implement one of the way is that let's say we have a num variable one okay now what i will do is let's say we have uh, 845 correct and three so i will divide simply it by 10 so 845 divided by 10 will give me 84 as the answer and uh, the last number that is remaining i can get it by 8, 8, 845 more 10 which will be 5 so 84 if 5 is greater than 3 i will add 1 simple so if you have 9600 uh, 500 no? 9500 200 uh, 95279 in that case uh, we have 200 correct so for 200 what i can do is that is three digits so for because of three digits i will divide by thousand three digits thousand okay if i divide by thousand i will definitely get 95 now and for 9500 uh, 95279 more thousand will give me 279 this 279 i will just compare with 200 it is greater so i will add one to it for 10,000. Uh, the n was 15 so 15 is a two digit number so i will divide by 100 now if i divide by 100 i get 100 as the answer and if i mod 10000 with 100 i will get zero as the answer the zero is less than 15 so i will not add any value here okay so whatever is there i will whatever there is the number of digits i will just do if it is a single digit number i will divide by 10 and i will mod by 10 if it is a two digit number i will divide by 100 i will mod by 100 if it is a three digit number i will divide by thousand i will mod by thousand okay so divide by thousand will give me this value 95 and mod will give me whether i need to add plus one or not fine so this is the logic for this particular question and i can get that by num equals to one so while my num is less than or equal to n i will simply do num equals to num into 10 so i will get if it is a single digit number i will get a 10 if it is a two digit number i will get 100 if it is a three digit number i will get 1000 in them right and finally uh, we can simply just check if my m mod num is less than n then i can simply print m divided by num if it is greater than n then i have to print m divided by num plus one and that is the code Fine. you can see the implementation in the github uh, link that is in the description box fine so this was uh, the logic for suffix stunning numbers fine thank you